Welcome back my friends to another TFT Hyper Roll video. Now I'm actually showing you the beginning of a game that isn't the game I'm going to be playing. And I'll give you a couple of moments to figure out why I'm showing this. Look at the comments, look at the list of names on the right. And you're going to quickly see that Mort Dog, the Mort Dog, is in this match with me. Now I'm not sure why he's in a Hyper Roll match since they're planning on getting rid of it at some point soon. But when you find the person who designs and concepts the game in a match with you, it's probably a good idea to pay attention to what they're doing to help you come up with build ideas. So the first time I run into him is actually fairly late in the game after the Treasure Dragon. I'm running a Nine Lagoon build and I noticed that he is doing a combination guild Dragon Mancer with Swift Shot, but really a strong focus on guild using Zippy, the Drunken Dragon. I'll get to that in a moment. But this was not particularly strong during the PBE that I found, but he had not lost a match up until this point, so there's something to this. Now why do I call Zippy the Drunken Dragon? Well, just look at him. He's drooling. His eyes are half closed. He's got little sparkles around his head. He's doing something. But let's get over to the game I want to show you. The real goal in working with Zippy and how this is all going to work out is building around guild. So you're going to want augments that are friendly to guild. Cybernetic Uplink will work because each champion that has an item will get a little extra health. They're going to be getting extra health from Sejuani and that will continue to rise as your number of guild increases. You're going to want to start off with at minimum a guild swift shot style build. Use Ezreal and Twitch and Sejuani as your starting three. Now since there aren't that many guild champions, you're going to be using Cavalier as well to create a really strong front line, but you're not going to commit completely into swift shots and in fact you may end up abandoning it entirely depending on how the match is going. It's a decision you'll have to make as you get later and I'm going to do another video that goes a little more in depth to this at a later time. I like picking up Negatron Cloaks when I get the chance because they have two purposes. They can either make a Dragon's Claw or a Bloodthirster, which is going to be very potentially useful for our drunken little friend. I like to roll early in this build because my hope is to get a three-star Sejuani, but Sejuani works into a lot of different builds that are popular right now, so you don't often get her, but you at least want to get her to two stars, so roll early so you can find her. Finding an early zippy like this can be both a blessing and a curse. It's great to have, but it's a dragon and is going to take up two slots and is not particularly strong early on. The key to zippy is what role is he going to play? He can be tank or damage or possibly both if you get lucky. Since I grabbed the Negatron Cloak before, it's a pretty good idea to pick up the BF Sword, but it's hard to resist the Giant's Belt since that can immediately make the Sunfire Cape on Sejuani. The problem is I can be pretty confident she's not getting to 3 star gold this game because I still haven't gotten her to 2 and we're heading into round 5 soon. Now I want to talk about our inebriated little friend and what makes him tick. Zippy's ult has him throw himself at the highest percentage health champion, which is likely the backline. He's going to shield himself and do 400% of his attack damage, so there's a good idea to give him a lot of attack damage with attack damage items. The problem is he's going to be right in their backline and immediately draw attention. So if he's not tanky, there's a good chance he's going to go down early and your zippy is going to be completely wasted. Sorry about that, but I just had to. For the next augment, I was really torn between weak spot and the 400 thrill of the hunt. Although ultimately, I really like having the burst healing. Getting an early two star silver zippy, I decide to do a damage route this time. Give him the infinity edge so when he hits that back line, he's going to hit those champions hard. My hope here is that his shield along with the burst healing is going to make up for the fact that he's not going to be as tanky as necessary sometimes going into the back line. As you can see the strategy seems to be working. He's actually killing people thus getting health back staying alive for his next attack. 
You'll notice I put the Rage Blade onto Twitch. It's an excellent item for him because he already has a pretty fast attack. We run into another team that is running a Zippy. They have gone the tank route with their Zippy. Luckily for us, our team holds up. Zippy is able to help take them out and actually lead the damage charts. Now the key in figuring out how to itemize your Drunken Dragon is going to go by the augments. In this case, because I got the 400 heal and was getting some additional tankiness from the cybernetic uplink, I felt more confident in going with something like the Infinity Edge. Had I just gone with tank items, I would have been taking as much advantage of the augments that I had. Again, you can see it play out perfectly right here. It's time for the final augment and I'm hoping for a very specific one and that is it, the Earth Grab Bag. The reason is with this, I can now turn Zippy into a Cavalier. So I no longer at all have to worry about tankiness. This is going to give him the Cavalier buff and I can make Bloodthirster the final item. So tankiness on Zippy will no longer be an issue. I'm just going to fill in Cavaliers all over, hopefully get to six, and then they'll have 110 magic resist and armor in addition to what Zippy gets as part of his guild bonus. The other piece of this puzzle that we're going to have to put together as we get further into it is whether we stick with swift shots or commit over entirely into guild. Again, it's a decision you make based on the circumstances you're playing with. Much like your zippy items, look to your augments and competition for direction. It is treasure dragon time and it is not lost on me that I am just a couple of twitches away from a gold twitch. So while I'd love to have a really good tank frontline item, I'm probably better served to go with something that will help enhance twitch. That could be perfect because that's going to be able to give us a full 100 additional attack damage if we can get twitch up to gold. And with some rolling, as we're heading into 7-3, I managed to find the Twitch that I'm looking for. So that rat is going to be putting out some serious damage. We are now in a perfect position to go up to the 6 Cavalier when we get to the next round and can add another champion. With Twitch being so strong with that Luminous Deathblade, adding an additional 100 attack, that's definitely the direction I'm going to go. The question will be whether I continue to stick with the 2 Swift Shot, which gives attack speed Twitch might not need, or head over to a guild champion like Jace who will give additional attack damage. With this item choice, I'm gonna go with the Bloodthirster for Twitch because he is fast becoming the carry on this team. I originally thought it was going to be our drunken little dragon, but Twitch has taken over with that Luminous Deathblade and the Rage Blade, helping him speed up his attack and just tear things apart. This person has a perfectly placed Zephyr and manages to get Zippy off the board. Luckily, Twitch is really, really strong and able to get through. And once Zippy is down, right into the backline, taking over what needs to be done and finishing it off. And this will bring us into the top four. And I know I'm going to be putting out Rel for that final Cavalier so that I can get everyone up to six. We get to see the nice chromatic emblem around the Cavalier buff. But what to do with the last slot? I'm looking to see if I can get a two-star Silver Jace. I got it. But is it worth switching out Swift Shot for? I decide to go around to try it because the additional bonus from the guild will help make up for the attack speed that Twitch may be losing due to not having the swift shot buff anymore. Now, the key in all of this is also that I haven't gotten Zaya yet. I would normally bring Zaya in here because she would pair well with Hecarim to create Rage Wing, and that would make her more powerful. But it's also great having Jace, as you can see, it eliminated a player. Now at this point I have found a Zayat. Only one star. I have a two star Jace. Go ahead and put the Bloodthirster on him and now I'm torn. Because if I'm going to go to Zaya, it's Runin's Hurricane. If I'm going to stick with Jace, it's Redemption. Because Jace is a little bit tanky, especially once he switches into his melee form. 
His ult involves him knocking things up, doing AoE damage, and then healing a bit from it. So having the redemption on him, as you can see him go in there, will continue to help keep him alive, along with the fact that he's going to be in there with our other Cavaliers and keeping them healed. Now this is a very strong team that we're against, although I do question the use of the Trinity of Force on Soam. It's not necessarily the best item for that champion. I'll be putting out a trilogy of videos on Lagoon and show you what I believe are the best items for them. Now at this moment I do have a Zaya that I could put in. I'm holding Jace for now because I want to see how the matches turn out. If I need to switch over to Zaya to get the Swift Shot buff and the Rage Wing in, I will do it. But this seems to be holding up really well. I think it's in part because Soam is not casting as often as he could, which is not giving them everything they can get from the Lagoon buff. After that last round, I decided to go ahead and stick with Jace, and I wanted so bad to get the gold zippy, but I am just a few gold short. If I lose this round, I will be able to three-star gold that zippy, and we can see what a drunken three-star dragon can do. However, this team is just really really strong the thrill of the hunt is helping to keep them alive zippy is just way too tanky and the Soam is just not set up for this leading to the victory hope you enjoyed this video and seeing a drunken zippy take over a match and as always hope you have an absolutely absolutely awesome day